This is 13, this is 10. This is rhombus. It's a rhombus. We want to figure out the area of this rhombus. How do we do it? Rhombus simply it's rhombus is made of two triangles. I know triangles. Okay. I saw so these triangles. That's the key. I saw so these triangles. If they are symmetric. They are two controllers that are triangles. If this is a 10, this is a 13. Now, my 50 points problem coming from here. Wow. So pay, pay full attention right now. It's a rare opportunity for you to earn points. Okay. So open your ear really wide. Now, in general, it is not easy to find the area of a triangle. But I saw something, it's a very special triangle. It has a certain special thing I'm going to show you later. But now, the basic, basic concept is we want to find the height. We've got to find the height, otherwise, how can we find the area of a triangle? Right? Well, what's the height? Uh, we know this side is 10, but this is symmetric. Remember that because of isosceles. So the, the height divides this triangle into two congruent triangles. You learned that, right? Yeah. Now, this is not a special triangle, but we do remember that. We have, remember, four Pythagorean triples. Remember that? Three, four, five. Five, twelve, thirteen. And then what's the next? That's eight. Seven, twenty, four, twenty-five. And then what's the next? Eight, 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 15, eight fifteen, seventeen. Seventeen, yeah. right? This simply click on our second pair, second triple. So this is very easy. This is a twelve. We can find 12 easily without any calculation. The triples help us to avoid the unnecessary computation. So that's the 12. You see? Converse. Just look at the hands. I know that you trust me. Please. Yeah. The answer is right there. I want you to tell me the answer in a minute. Well, I have too many hands. I simply cannot walk through everyone's, but I'm going to show my answer here. The answer for that is very easy. Please. Alex, five. that is my points, each one. I just counted for 10 times. All right, now, 18 times 24 divided by 2. That is the answer. Why divide by 2? Because there's two triangles. The two triangles, now, that's not the reason. No, the square. Because the, um, the height. Because the height. The height is 24 divided by 2. That's what we're getting at. Folks, please, look at this. My diagram is not drawn to scale, so don't be deceived. This is a rectangle, and this rectangle has a width of 18, and it has a length of 24. This rhombus embedded inside here, it has half of the area. Do you see it or not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. all the well, triangles there. Yes, that's how you pour it. Look at this, this is symmetric. It's symmetric, symmetric. They're all the same. That's why the rhombus itself is a half of the rectangle. You get it now? You get it? Good. I have another question for you. Uh, it's 18 times 12, 24. And divide by 2. How high it is? Oh, by the way, how do you do this problem quickly without any calculation? Can anyone do that? Yes. Mental calculation. Can you do mental calculation? 12.9. I just circle and did I say anything wrong? That means you're not. Good right. guess, but too wide. I need precise answer. Your answer is so <laughs> hilarious. Every single time. Your answer is encouraging, but not strong enough. Well, the answer may not be a fraction, that's oh, my guess. I got it. It's one. It is, look at it. It's called irrational oh, number. I got it. It is an irrational number. Oh. Where is that? That is a rational number. It's irrational, the answer? The answer is irrational. I got it. Are you Eric? Where did you get the answer from? What? My head? From space. Where is your head? Yeah. Could you open it? I need to see the Stop steps. You're going to show me. These are my steps. Oh. This is kind of giveaway information. Why don't you listen? Oh. 
Okay, now this is one. I'm telling you now, if this is A, if this is a B, this is radius. Radius of the two circles is A to B. And what's their area ratio? The in term of the angle. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's really points. Oh, come on. This is a giveaway problem. No. It's just like a warm-up problem. You have to get this part right in order to oh. get my 50 points. Are you stretching your arm or are you an answer? Give an answer. Jason, read it out. A squared to B squared. A squared to B squared. That's easy. Now, now, all right, good. Now listen to me. Now listen to me. It's easy, right? It's very easy. Okay, no points for this one. Yeah, this is no point, yeah. I'm going to tell you now. How about if I'm saying that if the area of this one is a 3 to 4? How about the radius ratio? Wait, the, well, the area of this is 3 to 4? Yes. Oh. And what is the, uh, the ratio of the radius? Oh, this is not 3 to 4. No, this is a charity problem. Okay. Charity problem? No, wait, the, ra the ratio of the radius? This point is. This point is. Oh, how much time you have? Square root of 3. I have All right. And as you said it, the answer for that is square root 3 to 2. Yeah. Have the sign, have the sign of the square. I make a small square. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. This smaller one is going to be a quarter of the whole square. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because, because, because you divide it. Because it's square. Divided. Because it's square. Right? So when you divide the sign by two, you don't get half of the square area. Mm -hmm. It's only get a quarter of it. You get half square. Now, I'm asking you. There gotta be some point. How can I divide the square? I'm gonna get a half of the size of the square. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the half of the square? Yeah, where is the half of the square? Look at it. This side, this is zero, this is one. I'm asking you where this point is. It's not one half. Definitely. Oh, where's the square? Tell me. You gotta tell me where is that? Three four. Three four. Wait, now? Now. This question is. Two over two. This question is a forty point. Oh. That's why you don't want to share with her. I thought you said we had to say. Hey, don't say it. Write it down. I just need written evidence. Write down. Five hundred twenty-five of them. Of course. So we go. A hundred twenty-five. Hundred twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when we pen it, yes, when we pen it, we pen it outside. We definitely have some some cube won't be pen. I'm asking you this question. This question is not worth 60 points, but a whole bunch of questions worth altogether 60 points. There are some cube we've attended three times, three phases. Let me show you an example. This one, for example. That corner is going to be painted three times. Because one, two, three. So when you dismantle the whole stack, take them away, this corner, this vertex, is going to be painted three times. That is one example, right? And for example here, this one will be painted two times. And there are some face, some cubes that only painted one time, one face only. There are six phase in a cube. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, good. Are you going to pay the money? Now, now, uh, six the 60 points I'm going to give the person who can, or them or who can. I want you to do the three phase, the number of cubes, they pay the three phase, two phase, one phase, and then, of course, we got zero phase, means it's clean, it's not petty at all. Wait, what? 